Hi, I'm Catherine with the Old Country Porch, and today I'm going to show you how to make this easy, affordable, do-it-yourself single bar soap cutter that's comparable to these more expensive single bar soap cutters. So what you'll need is a piece of scrap wood, a coping saw, and a guitar string. Some other things that you'll need is a hammer, some nails, sandpaper, any kind of ruler, a marker, and some snips. And if you don't have snips, you can use needle nose pliers because they have a spot on them that you can cut wire with. Just don't use scissors to cut this wire because you'll ruin your scissors. So this is the coping saw that I found on Amazon and I chose this one because of its construction because it only has one side that adjusts and I think it will be easier to make this into a soap cutter with just the one side that adjusts. But before I turn this into the soap cutter, I'm going to use this to cut the wood for the soap cutter. So I'm going to make three cuts. Two of the pieces are going to be the same length and they are going to be the length that I want my bar of soap to be. I want my soap bars to be one inch thick, so I'm gonna make two cuts that are one inch. And then I'm gonna need a piece to go on the end to stop the soap bar. And I'm gonna cut that one at an inch and a half long. So I made my three cuts and then I cut the board to the length that I wanted it to be. And you're probably going to want to take a break at this point because your arm is going to be so tired. If you have power tools, you can make these cuts with power tools and it will make things a lot easier. But if you don't, you can just use a coping saw. So I have my piece that's an inch and a half long and that's going to go on the end. And what I had originally decided was that I would have two pieces on either side that were an inch long each. But I ended up making this piece a little bit longer so that I can nail it directly into the end piece and into the bottom piece. So I have two pieces that I'm gonna do that with. But before I nail these into place, I need to add a groove for the soap cutter to be able to go past the soap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that before I nail the pieces into place. Now I'm just going to sand all my pieces and nail them together. So all of my pieces are sanded and ready to be nailed into place and Depending on what kind of wood you're using, you might want to pre-drill your holes so that it doesn't split the whole piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with mine. Now I can take the coping saw and turn it into the actual soap cutter. So to do that, I'm going to be replacing this blade with a B second guitar string. 
You can also use an E first, but the B second is a lot stronger of a string. So to replace the blade with a guitar string, I'm going to twist the end here, which will loosen this and let you remove the saw blade. And I have my guitar string and I've cut it to be a little bit shorter so that it's easier to work with. And I'm gonna take this side and hook it. And so once that's in there, it's not gonna go anywhere. Then I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna make sure that this side is pretty loose when I put it in because when I wrap this wire around here, I want it to be in this position so that I can tighten the wire. So pulling this up, I'm gonna put the wire down the middle and pull it around. And then I'm just gonna twist it a few times around the wire. Then you can take your snips and cut the extra off. So the wire is really loose, so all you have to do now is tighten it up. And then to use it, you just put your bar of soap in. You can run your cutter right down the edge. So with this, you can get uniform size bars every single time. So you can customize the sizes for what you need for your soaps. You get to save a ton of money by doing it yourself. So if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.